Yeah, just a, a bunch of relief. You know, um, I never got a shot to fight for a belt in any organization. You know, I've had these accolades in wrestling and in, even in football, collegiate wrestling. Um, then I go into mixed martial arts and I, I fight these local shows, but I only fight one time and then move on to the next one. I win the Ultimate Fighter and then go to the UFC and never got an opportunity there. Um, so to come in here, my first fight, you know, uh, there's definitely a little, you know, fighting a different promotion, your first fight. I wouldn't say there's kind of jitters, but you're new to the whole thing, and you go, you don't know what to expect. I've never stepped foot in a, a Bellator cage before. I didn't know what the canvas felt like. I didn't know a, a lot of things. And so to be able to come out here and, and beat um, a top two, top three guy in the world, you know, he's an awkward guy. He's hard to fight. That's why he wins way more than he loses here. And he was a champion, you know. And so to take this away, though, it's just a lifetime of work. And were you worried at all when it went to the judges' scorecards that maybe they wouldn't read your name at the end just because it was a close fight? You always are, you know, in those split decisions. But, you know, if you look at his face and the damage that I was doing, um, he's just a weird, awkward guy to fight. If you ask anybody, it, he's hard to track down. He doesn't move the way you think he's going to move. He's all over the place. You know, every time I, I was thinking about throwing a, a right hand, you know, I could feel he's trying to slip underneath it and try to take me down, you know. So. Um, the fight didn't necessarily go how it wanted to go. You know, I wanted to come in and make a huge statement, but, you know, um, how many guys beat Phil Davis? You know, and I beat him twice, and then uh, this time for a belt. What do you think the judges saw there that gave you the win over him? Um, just connecting more. You know, and like I said, if you look at his face, you know, uh, you can tell where the damage was done. He, he was moving a lot more, moving around the, around the cage, and, um, you know, I got a, I got a takedown. Um, you know, just stuff like that. I, I just feel like, I landed more, landed more power punches. Uh, my jab was working, um, you know, and, and he did a great job, you know, and, but he, he just move, moves a lot, moves awkwardly, so he's hard to track down, um, you know, and some people see that as winning the fight, but you gotta look at the, you know, the punches landed and takedowns landed and whatnot. When the crowd's booing and stuff there, are you having some flashbacks of Sweden? You know, it's. <laughs> It's uh, it's Phil. It's not Phil Davis. Him. It's just a combination of he's such an awkward guy to fight, you know. And it's it's uh, hard to track down, you know. And and he, you think he's gonna move a certain way, and he doesn't. He moves the opposite way, you know. And so uh, you know, he's one of the best in the world for a reason. He held his belt for a reason. You came in here, stormed in Bellator, won the uh, tournament, won the belt, you know. And so uh, you know, I come in here fresh, my first fight, and it's for the title. You know, there's a lot of pressure on me for that. And like I said, I never really stood, stood, stepped foot in the uh, Bellator cage, you know. And so I get in there, and I'm look, I'm trying to feel how it feels. You know, it's, it's a little different in the UFC cage and whatnot. And so I try to take it all in and process all that while fighting for a world title, you know. And, and uh, But like, like I said, just got the job done. Go out there, look better next time, have a dominating performance next time. I went out there and beat the best guy in this division, you know. Um, besides me, obviously, and now we, we get to go and, uh, um, you know, clean out the division. We'll have this belt for a long time. Ryan, how much did it help, though, that you had faced me before, that you were used to maybe his weird takedowns, his weird strikes, but it's basically, you knew what we were going to face. It wasn't like a shock. Yeah, and that was part of it. You know, and uh, you make, what Phil Davis is very, very good at is one mistake cost you the fight. You know, one mistake, one slip takedown, one slip kick. Um, you know, you kick at the wrong time, you throw your right hand at the wrong time. That's what I was kind of feeling. I feel like he was waiting for that big right hand and he's come underneath it. That's how he beats everybody. You make a mistake and then he drowns you, you know? So, um, like I said, it's not the most exciting fight, how I want to go, you know, come out and knock out win, jump on the cage and help pull my belt up. But, you know, I got it done and I'm sure I'm going to see him again. You know, like I said, I believe he's the toughest guy in the division. Do you want? Yeah. <laughs> we see each other, you know, he beat me in wrestling, you know, and then we come out and I beat him in uh, um, two MMA fights, you know, and uh, we're going to be competing at our whole life. We'll probably see each other in the senior <laughs> league of jiu-jitsu or something, you know. Uh, but he's a great, great dude. Uh, I respect the hell out of him. Um, so it's an honor to get in there and, and fight him. And uh, to come away with his belt up against a guy like that makes it that much sweeter. Who is next? Is it going to be King Mo? Is it going to be Linton Vassell? There's a lot of guys really making a case for a title shot. You know, I, I don't know. You know, and I don't know how Bellator, like I said, I'm a new guy here. Um, you know, I don't know how they like to set up their title shots. You know, I just came in. I came into Bellator. I signed with them. One track mine. I'm going to go in there and turn my butt off and, and go win this title, right? And so I haven't really, you know, been in the ins and outs yet. 
It doesn't matter, you know, Lynn Van Vancel, Vancel, is that himself? Vancel. Vancel. Uh, he was tweeting at me before he even signed with, with uh, Bellator, you know. Right. So there's a little history there, so I wouldn't mind fighting him. But then again, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing these big fights. What happens if Vanderlei Silva goes out there and looks like a freaking animal? Yeah. I wouldn't mind fighting him or a legend, you know, a guy like that. You know, um, I don't know how they, how they uh, you know, put those fights together. So I'm open to whatever. Like I said, I beat the toughest guy in the division already. Ryan, I got to ask, you know, Tito says he's retired. Would you yeah. want that fight? Oh, would you want revenge? I would love it. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not a shit-talking guy. You know, I respect everybody in the sport. Um, but I, if I have to hear that name and Tito, <laughs> you know, you're pretty good, but you lost to Tito Ortiz back in, in 1994. You know, that, that one I would like to get. If there's one fight I would like to get back and do that one for sure. And I, I would love to fight him in Belt. I put the belt on the line and everything if he wants to come in, you know, but uh, that, that fight intrigues me too. You know, I don't, see, that's why I don't know their thought process of where they want to go. Any uh, bumps and bruises in this fight? When do you want to get back in the cage? Yeah, I mean, I, have my, I checked a couple of kicks and I was kicking hard on uh, with my left leg when I saw pop, so a little swollen and whatnot, but uh, I think it's all superficial. I feel good. Um, doesn't matter. You know, I, I, uh, I'm going to stay active. I'm going to be an active champion, and uh, I want to fight my whole contract out, sign a new one, stay in the champ, and uh, retire as a champ. And how has this experience, uh, you know, differed from the UFC as far as the fight week and everything else that you have to fight? Man, it's been, it's been so cool and refreshing. Everybody's been so positive, um, you know, treated with respect everywhere we go. And, you know, that's something, that's the biggest thing I've, uh, I've kind of found out, you know, is it, a respect factor. And you get, if you get it, you know, you give it back too. And so to stand up here, you know, it's just been, a, been an honor to go through this. You know, I got, like I said, I got thrown in here. Uh, Madison Square Garden, you know, the biggest fight they've ever had for a title fight, you know, so I just kept my head down, did my work, and, uh, you know, went out there and did my thing, got the belt, and then now I look to be, you know, I got that fight underneath my belt, now I look to really open up and, and come into my own, you know, just kind of testing the waters, even though I have the belt up here. The state of Arizona has produced a decent line of champions, and now you're the latest one. What kind of satisfaction do you take knowing that you're bringing that belt back to your home state? Yeah, you know, I competed there. Um, you know, I wrestled there at Arizona State University. We've got a ton of great guys. You know, we got a great team there. Um, we got guys coming up and fighting, you know, this next month, CB Dalloway, you know, Hidden Burrell. Um, we're building a good team in Arizona. And uh, the rest of the guys, you know, the Benson Hendersons, you know, in Arizona, been around forever. And so, um, it's, it's a hotbed of MMA that's kind of flies under the radar, and we have tons of support, so to bring this belt back to them is going to be, uh, it'll, it'll be a big deal. Last one, guys. How much pressure was it you on this fight? Because you were the big free agent. You have a new contract. You were tweeting out about new sponsors. Yeah. Mass Square Garden title. How, going into this week, was there more pressure on this fight than any fight in the years to your career? Yeah, I tried not to think about it. I tried not to, you know, uh, I tried to just keep it out of my head. You know, but like I said, being a new guy, not knowing, not knowing what the canvas feels like, well, that's a pretty big deal if you if you ever been in there, you know. And uh, not knowing what fight week is like, luckily it was kind of routine for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of pressure and coming in here and you're fighting for the title. Where does it go from there? It's only go down, you know, if you lose. And so, um, luckily came out here, um, have the belt, and now it's just time to uh, um, now that I know what it's all about, time to really shine.